welcome back to the channel guys today i'll be taking a look at the matrix awakens unreal engine 5.1 demo so this one is a slightly updated version can't remember who provided the link um but i will provide a download link in the comment section and all credit where it's due um it's just been a while since i've done this so i'm not too sure where i even downloaded this originally but anyway I've recently acquired an RTX 1490 and upgraded to the Intel i9-3900K so I'm eager to see how well this performs now. So I'm going to quickly go to the settings and show you what I'm using because by default with this version DLSS will be on but we're going to be turning that off and also we want to be putting um, the Lumen to uh, maximum. Right now it's uh, optimized, but we're gonna max that out of course. And everything else, there's no dynamic resolution scaling, so we're just gonna be playing at native 4K. Now one one of the uh, worst things about the earlier version of this demo was there was severe CPU bottleneck and um, you couldn't really get a true gauge on what your GPU could do. But as you can see here, the uh, GPU load or utilization is considerably higher, pretty much um, we're in the ballpark of most AAA games. And uh, the CPU usage is at 25 to 26%, which is pretty high considering the amount of cores and threads that the 3900K has. And um, this just looks absolutely amazing. Uh, very, very high detailed. And as you can see, I'm getting considerably more FPS um, than my 3090. I was getting just over 60 with that. So I'm going to go for a little drive. And uh, there will be a, quite a lot of frame spikes here and there because um, that's one thing about Unreal Engine. It's always been like that. I don't know if it's a cache thing. Maybe it's just draw distance issues. I don't know. But um, it is pretty choppy at times. But we're getting decent performance here. With this version as well, you can actually change the uh, view. So I can go first person. And we'll do some night time as well, just so you guys can see how it performs at night. It doesn't actually change anything. It looks considerably different, of course. But the performance is pretty much the same, in my opinion. Let's take a right here. So, I'm just going to park up here and start walking around again. I'm staying first person though. The reason why this city may seem very familiar to everyone, but you can't really place where it is, is because it's a combination of pretty much Chicago and uh, New York and San Francisco all in one. And they just call it the mega city and it's got like what you'd call like pretty much resemblance from all three cities and it's all rolled into one so it's going to be very very familiar to, to a lot of people but it's not a real place this is uh, basically fictional but what I like about this Unreal Engine 5 engine the most is the level of detail to everything so if you were to walk up to let's say a parking meter you can see the serial code you can see exactly what it says so I can read that they pay by card, credit, debit, or parking, card, chip, um, side up. It gives you the full instructions that you'd expect to see in real life. So it can really push out very, very fine details with no issues. And of course, some of the uh, characters that are walking around or NPCs, their faces are quite generic. But these, I would assume these are all auto-generated. This one's on his phone and he's stuck behind a sign. It's pretty funny. But well, looking at performance, it's way over 60 frames per second. You can go into the high 90s at times, depending on what you're doing. I want to go back into third person mode now. Really wish they added more NPCs to choose from, but. This is the only one you get at default. Few people have put in their own like Superman, Spider-Man 
things like that, but I haven't got a version with Superman with the Unreal Engine 5.1 and DLSS update. So this is the most up-to-date version I have of this CD or the Matrix Awakens demo. Apart from the uh, constant stutters, it is very, very impressive. I'm going to go into drone mode very quickly just so you guys can see the scale of the city because this is the big version. I'm just going to grab some altitude here so you guys can see. I mean, all of this is just available for you to explore as well, which is unheard of in any kind of current game that's available. I mean, Spider Man does a great job, but it's not on the scale of this. No no way and um, if anyone had any doubts if the 4090 would be able to handle itself in Unreal Engine 5 situations at native 4k if we were to go by this it does seem that it would be able to do over 60 frames per second of course this is more of a tech demo than anything so can't draw a full blown conclusion but this is going to give you a good idea of what to expect but again, the scale of this city is just insane. Vertically as well, how high you can go, it's pretty amazing. I mean, just look at that. That is awesome. So what I'm going to do now is switch to night time. But what I'll do actually as well, which I forgot to do, is... I toggle a few more settings so you can actually toggle how much cars and people and traffic what traffic there is so what I want to do now is put the crowd to 100% put the traffic to 100% and put parked cars to 100% just to completely overload this and I want to turn off that green kind of post processing that kind of matrix filter and uh, let's see how much that affects performance. I'm just going to go back to walking around now. For me, it doesn't really impact performance in any meaningful way. It's just pretty much the same. Maybe the CPU is doing a bit more now. You can see around 37 to 34% utilization from the 3900K, but the GPU utilization is considerably better. Go in first person mode. What the hell happened with that lady's hair there? I'm not too sure. So, yeah, it's not perfect. Obviously, this is a tech demo. A lot of these uh, avatars or NPCs are probably randomly generated. But there's a good mixture of clothing and uh, body, body size and body types. So, CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk could definitely learn a thing or two because anyone that's walked around in Night City will see the same characters wearing the same clothes, same build, same body type. And it's all too repetitive, but this is a nice, nice mixture. So let's put it to night time now. And, uh, yeah, how that looks. So again, Maybe even performs a slightly better at night. I just saw it hit 91 frames per second there. But yeah, the the lighting system on this is just perfect. Really believable. The atmosphere of a big city really is captured with this tech demo more than more so than pretty much any kind of game I've ever played. And it really does feel open and obviously living that is the main thing where people are walking at different paces doing different things and this isn't even a game this is just an example of what can be achieved yeah a lot of uh, frame spikes of course but um, other than that it's very very impressive indeed let's grab a car now and do a little bit more driving you can't take cars that are moving, you can only take cars that are parked up. But this isn't GTA or anything like that. 
Can't rob anyone. Let's take this. Let's drive in uh, third person. As you can see there's damage models as well. And if you damage the car too much, you can't drive it anymore. Some of the contact with the road doesn't look quite correct. As you can see, that car looks a little bit like it's floating. We'll grab another car. I'll total the other one. With this version of the demo, you don't see the animation of opening and closing the door, but with the original version you do, so maybe it's something that the person who compiled this standalone took out. I'm not too sure why. I'll just drive through the NPCs. They're not real. They won't get run over or anything. So driving at higher speeds previously used to tank FPS quite a lot. Um, but you can still hold above 60 frames per second with the third, with the 4090. Too much traffic, we'll have to wait. But yeah, very, very impressive showcase indeed. Only using around 7.5 gigabytes of VRAM as well. Doesn't look like these cars are going anywhere soon, so I'm going to have to find my own way through. Just as I do that, they start to move. Typical. Well, I've turned up traffic and parked cars to maximum. It's going to be pretty hard to navigate now. If you would have shown this to someone probably 25 years ago, it would sort of blown their mind. But even now it's still impressive. I'm going to put it back to daytime now. It's crazy how the lighting can just change so quickly. Try and get one on one of the freeways now. See if I can uh, open it up at high speed. I've got to find my way onto one now. spikes. Unreal do need to find a way to deal with that because even with things like Gotham Knights it's a massive issue with the caching. I believe that uses the Unreal Engine as well so it's just something they really need to deal with. Not every game that uses the Unreal Engine suffers from that though. I mean I think uh, Gears of War is an example that actually works pretty well with the Unreal Engine without too much of those frame spikes. I'm going to go first person now. I'm not too sure what my uh, bumper of the car is doing. It's kind of just flaking out. It looks a little bit too bright in the cockpit. So sometimes the lighting can look a little bit too intense. But when you're on the third person, it looks fine. And there's just way too much traffic, so I'm gonna reduce the traffic a little bit because it's ridiculous to drive at this point. Put it down to 75%, park cars down to 75 as well. And that actually boosts performance a little bit as well. I'll get past these guys, no question. Just about squeeze through. 
Okay, there's a way to get on the freeway over here. Definitely not the right way on the road, but it's okay, I want to rejoin traffic. Okay, let's see how fast we can go and see what the frame rate's like. Things become very unstable when you start hitting the high speeds, I'm not too sure why. Everything starts uh, popping around. Very odd. weird. They've obviously uh, some limitations with how fast you can move. Let's see a first person that rectifies that issue. Maybe it's just a third person issue. Nope, even in first person that still happens. So very weird. Let's go back into the city now. I think I'll take the right here. Yeah, just want to give you guys a quick look at the Unreal Engine 5.1 demo via Matrix Awakens and Awakening or Awakens, I'm not too sure which one. And it performs better, a lot better. Minus all the frame spikes, it's not the performance is um, decent, especially at native 4K. Lighting system is the most impressive thing there. Anyway, guys, I think I'll leave it there. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.